Good evening, everyone. It's Field Redneck out of Communist California. I'd like to first off wish everybody a happy Easter and hope you uh, have given some thought to what Easter originally stood for and what all it means. Now let's get on to my little rant. Let's start with the Georgia uh, voting rights law. Everybody's squawking about it. The way I see it, there's nothing wrong with it. You have to have an ID card to do just about anything nowadays, whether it be cash, check at the grocery store, rent a car, open a bank account, uh, buy a car, insurance, all that. So everybody should have one. It has access to one. No problem there. Now let's give a little thought to what's going on in the nation. Has anybody ever noticed that when a Democrat's in power, they really want to push something through Congress that they know the people aren't going to like, like something against the Second Amendment or something like that, or some big heavy bill. They try to distract you. There's all of a sudden multiple shootings going on or something else that takes up the news cycles and gets people's mind off what Congress is doing. Well, deja vu, we're doing it again. You got the Asian hate thing going on. You got all these multiple shootings, like in the shopping mall, workplace. All that stuff are all of a sudden happening out of the blue. Then you got that, that guy that drove through the barricades at the Capitol that the news broadcasters were saying was white, a white guy. Turns out he's Muslim or a member of uh, Farrakhan's Islam group. Uh, I haven't heard an apology for that yet. But three, does anybody remember the days when the news media actually took time to uh, show both sides of an issue fairly without imposing their own opinion on it? I do. But it's not what we have now. What I have now is Democratic mouthpieces... And we got Republican mouthpieces, too. They say whatever their masters want them to say. You know, I think that's a waste. If they're going to be journalists, let them be journalists. Journalists are supposed to be unbiased as much as possible. Show both sides of the story so people look the facts doesn't matter if they agree with the facts or not. Give the people the choice. The way they're doing it now, they're treating everybody like they're dummies. Like they don't have a brain. And don't worry, go back to your Xbox. Play with your phone. We'll give you all the stories you need to know just the way we want it to be understood. <laughs> in other words, you're going to be kept in the dark and fed a bunch of bullshit. I don't know. I'd kind of like to everybody uses Easter to kind of do a reset. You know, the ones that are promoting this black on white uh, race problem and trying to blow it way out of proportion need to stop. You're creating a monster that you don't have a chance in hell of controlling on either side. Cause you got a lot of whites believing in that, that bullshit, how every white's racist and all that stuff. You got a lot of blacks believing. You also have a lot of whites and a lot of blacks that ain't buying it. So why don't we get off our high horses and quit saying what we want everybody to hear and start reporting the news as it is. Quit putting all your little Don Lemonese attitudes into it. Or any of your Pelosi attitudes. Uh, or even you'll see how it's all white supremacy. In my 65 years, I have seen no white supremacy. Unless you mean by working hard, running your own business, or being the best person you can be. Are there good whites? 
Hell yeah, there's a lot of them. Are they good blacks? Same answer. But funny thing is, it's just like the good cops. There's a lot of them. But everybody always wants to concentrate on the bad few. And they want to paint with a broad brush. Everybody with the bad few brush. Are there good journalists out there? Yes. Do you hear much from them anymore? No. Because their voices have been overrun by their editors who are looking for sensationalism. I mean, let's take, let's take a news story. There was a police shooting in, say, Oakland, we'll say, hypothetically. Let me make that un understood. This is total hypothetical. <clears throat> Police shot a suspect as he was brandishing a handgun. A suspect deceased on the way to the hospital. Investigation underway. That right there should be the end of the story. Till it gets to the investigation and all that. But in today's headline, it'd be white cop shoots fleeing black man in the back, killing him instantly, then laughing about it. Or some crap like that. Now, which head, which headline is going to get the most sensationalism? Most reaction from the people? Is it scenario A or scenario B? Which is going to get more clicks on the computer news cycle? A or B? Which is going to get the people more wound up? A or B? I can tell you the answer to that on all of them is B. And that's what they're going for. Do they care if it's right or how many people they injure with their twisting of the truth? No. All they're going for is their profit margin. That's all they do. So for Easter, what I would like everybody to start doing is looking at this news with a grain of salt as it's speculation only. Do your own research. Look into these stories if they interest you. Find out the facts before you start jumping up and down. You know, it's... The news media is trying to tear this, this world apart. And every time every time the Democrats want to do something, they wind up the news media to get on their side. To, Let's promote this going this way. Let's do this, that, 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 that. It's almost like somebody's... The, the politicians are writing the teleprompters for the newscast. And the only way we're going to stop that, people, is by changing our own mindset. The good Lord will give us all a brain. Let's start using it to analyze what is being said and what, who is trying to shove something down our throats. The more we understand what they're doing, the easier we can beat them. Without violence, without anything else. You want to beat these people that are selling all those false narratives on either side? Quit buying their stories. And this I'm saying as conservative. Are there conservative liars? Yep. Are there liberal liars? Yep. Trick is you got to figure them out. But that's my Easter message for everybody. Let's all use our brains to straighten out this world. See, old redneck, remember our military serving overseas and the ones that are serving here. Remember our vets coming home and the ones that are home. Give them a hand up, not a hand out. And most of all, remember our police, our firemen, and our EMTs. They do a hell of a job and get very little respect. This is the old redneck. We're out. Good night. Happy Easter.